who became meditative in a pyramid structure? Pyramid was created to keep the dead. Pyramids were built for the dead, not for the living. Yes? If you build a pyramid, even if you make a paper pyramid, you can experiment with this. A pyramid should have an angle of fifty-six degrees at the top, all the four angles. If you make a pyramid with exact fifty-six degrees, even a simple paper pyramid, you take a vegetable. If it's in a tropical climate, you can check this very easily. Suppose there's a vegetable or a fruit which would normally rot in three or four days. Take it, place it in one place and paper… a paper pyramid, ensuring that the angles are correct. Keep it on it, leave it for a week or ten days. You open and see, there will be no rotting process. It will be shriveled up, but there will be no rotting. Because there are five manifestations of prana, one of them is called as vyana. Vyana prana, these are Apan, prana, apana, udhana, samana and vyana. There are five manifestations of energy within the system. Vyana is in charge of the preservative nature of the body. So if you create a pyramidal form, this vyana gathers and naturally something can be preserved for a long time. You heard of the mummies, even their epithelial cells are still kept that way. They also did lots of work, it's a lot of nasty work. Have you seen a mummy in reality? Have you been to Egypt? They did lots of work on preserving the dead because of some fancy beliefs that they had. But it is essentially about preservation. No <laughs> I know a lot of people, pyramid societies are prom promoting you can meditate under a pyramid. Pyramid is not for meditation, pyramid for is keeping the dead. If you want to preserve your great-grandfather, you can build a pyramid. But I would say, why bother the dead? Leave the dead to the dead. The living are your concern, isn't it? Yes? Yes. This one and the other ones around you, the living are… should be your concern, not the dead. Pyramid is for the dead, some… I don't know what to call them. Such people are promoting pyramid as a meditative process. Pyramid has nothing to do with meditation, okay? You need to understand, meditation is not some kind of an act, it is a certain quality. If you cultivate your body, if you cultivate your mind, if you cultivate your emotions and your energy, to a certain level of ma maturity, meditation will blossom, you can't stop it. You try hard and try to meditate, you will… you will lose your two marbles that you have in your head, that will also fall off. Yes. You do not try to flower, you learn to do gardening, flowers will happen. Yes? You do not try to do flowers. If you try to do flowers, you will end up with fla plastic flowers, you will not have flowers. You learn gardening. If you want rose flowers in your garden, you don't think roses, you think soil, you think manure, you think water, you think sunlight, isn't it? Like that. You think body, you think mind, you think emotion, you think energy. Do something about it, you will become meditative.